The Squamish people are located all throughout British Columbia, Canada. The Salish people are located all through this region over here. And the Haida people are located in this small land region, Haida Gwaii. For environment, the Squamish over here is located near a lot of fresh water, just like the Haida and the Salish. All the villages will be near fresh water because that's what obviously all the people will need. The Haida is a very large land region, just like the Salish, with lots of trees and forest. This here is Bannock, which is bread that is uh, crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. This is sockeye salmon, which is just salmon that they caught to eat their food. This is moose, which they hunted so they could also eat them. And Saskis is like candy to them. It's like very, very hard to get and just very tasty and very good for you. This is the replica of a longhouse when back then. And it is all beat up here and stuff. And the front view of a longhouse, of a regular longhouse, usually had red cedar here. And the door here. And they usually had a totem pole in the front, like this. And back here, where in the middle of the roof, they had a, a chimney type thing. And inside, in the middle behind the door, they had a fire pit. And all along the outside, they, that's where they slept and ate and all that. When tribes lived on the plains, they generally lived in teepees because they are easy to move around and, ha and they have big sticks that go up and down and then they would live on the inside and they would have fire pits on the outside and they would be in big groups where they hunted and looked for food. The roles of men and women were for the men they would hunt, which is catching fish right here, fishing. And for women, they would pick berries for the food. Each tribe for the government had a native chief, which is here is an image of one here. The chief would decide where the village would be. Here's a picture of a village. It must be near fresh water for drinking. This is what traditional boats looked like when they were going out on the water and this is for transportation and this is what they did when they built the boats they took some wood carved it out and just got it ready for the water this is what their traditional clothing looked like when they had the headdress this is in a ceremony also this is in a ceremony when they the ladies and this is their general everyday clothing when they're out hunting or picking berries, or anything like that. This is modern native art. They often showed images of animals and were carved out by members of the tribe. All in all, this is our project on the Haida group, Salish tribe, and the Squamish tribe. Uh, thank you.